of the week as reserve team coach. You finished it in the Premier League spotlight. Was it a week that you've enjoyed? I'm not so sure enjoyed. I don't think I've been able to sit down and relax enough to actually think I've enjoyed it. Um, it's been enlightening. Um, and I think probably tonight, if I sit down and start watching the telly, I'll maybe try and reflect back and think, yeah, I should enjoy this because it doesn't get much better than this. Now, the club didn't just lose a manager with a huge personality. They lost most of his coaching staff as well. How difficult has it been to cope this week? Um, it's not so, so much a case of difficult to cope. We've all had to muck in from all the academy staff through to myself. Um, and you just get on with it because that's the way you know people who want to try and help the club do. Um, as I say, we've had some part-time staff have come in to help in the youth team. We've had Gordon Cowens has come up and helped with the reserves. Um, Tony's come up to help me with the first team. And so... It's just what you do in football. When the chairman came to you and said, look, we need somebody to take charge of the team for Saturday, were there any doubts in your mind that it was the right thing to do? There weren't doubts in my mind about the right thing to do because I probably thought it was, I was in a bit of a shock because Martin had left. But uh, it's the right thing to do because you have an affinity with the football club. And the football club needed you know, football people to try and help them through this so-called turmoil that they were having. So why not? There are some football men who prefer to be out there coaching the players and leave all the other thousand things about football management to others. Are you one of them? I like the coaching side, I must admit. But I've enjoyed myself this week getting out on the training ground to try and put you know, little ideas into their heads. Um, today it looked as if it responded, but I'll have to look back on the, the video just to see if it was right. Now, one result doesn't make a manager, but if they came to you and said, well, we'd like you to stay in charge a bit longer, what would your thoughts be? I definitely have to think about it, but I've always I've said all along that if tomorrow morning I wake up and win, lose or draw, and I've not actually enjoyed it, then maybe coaching is better for me, I don't know. So I'll have to try and sleep tonight and see what happens. I think you'll have enjoyed that. Um, you had a lot of youngsters out there, Clark and Albright were outstanding, you know, Bannon and Vyman off the bench. Was that a deliberate policy to bring in players that you knew? Well, uh, Vi uh, not Vyman, Albright and Kieran Clark were given their debuts by Martin last year, so... You know, people know about them. Um, but because we've had a few injuries, I've decided to put one or two of the youngsters on the bench. And if we, you know, got the lead that we did, it would give them a little bit of experience in front of a big crowd. It might only be four or five minutes. And every little bit of experience helps. So, you know, you just never know when we may have to use them in the future. I think you were on record as saying you didn't sleep much this week. Do you think you'll sleep a little easier tonight? Um... I'll hopefully sleep a little easier, but then we've got to start preparing for Thursday. And that's, the, that's the problem with being a manager. You, you never really get a chance to sleep properly. Problem that you'd like full-time? Not yet, I'm not <laughs> sure. Not sure. Can't answer that one. Anyway, well done today. Thank you very much. Avram, not the start you wanted, obviously. What do you think went wrong for West Ham today? Uh, I think uh, we didn't play well. Uh, Aston Villa was better than us, and uh, they won most of the battles. They passed the ball better than us. But if you see chances, we had chances to score. Uh, when it was 1-0, we had big chance. 2-0, we had big chance. We started the second half very well. Uh, we had two, three big chances uh, to score. And then they score from the first chance for the first half, second half. And uh, But at the end of the day, they deserve to win. You inherited a squad that almost went down last season. Is that a problem psychologically that they have got out of the habit of winning? Uh, I don't know. The player said there is psychology. Always there is psychology problem, but the psychology problem means that we need to fix it. So I think the psychology part will be strong in this team. A lot of attention, in particular, on Rob Green today. How did you feel he performed? No, he performed well. You know, it was not easy for him also because the team, most of the team in front of him, didn't perform well. So, and we get them uh, easy chance, uh, and he was he. He performed well. You've got a difficult start to the season. I think you've got Chelsea, Manchester United, Tottenham in the first few weeks. Is this going to be a harder job than you thought? Oh, my job was never was easy, you know. Uh, this is a hard job anyway, but it's a, it's a big challenge. This is a fixture. We cannot change it, especially when we are a part of the team. It's a new team, but it's a, it's a challenge. A challenge also to learn from this game.